come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. We're a movie review podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, in our quest for total world domination. Hey, you can help us out with that by going over to wherever you found us and hitting that like or subscribe button. All of that stuff helps us get found by other like-minded folks like you. <laughs> that, that's all he's got tonight. Yeah, yeah. 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 Colin's out for the night. And he's I know. done. Well, uh, you know, it's like, uh, well, okay. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> Colin's just, like, ah, you guys can take it over now. I'm done. My yeah. job here is done. That's right. The movie took it out for, on uh, the fragile on existence that is this podcast. <laughs> yeah, and our audio equipment at this point, you and our what? psyches. You know, yeah. what, Colin, it's been a week. I know, right? Yeah, that's true. It it's been a fucking week. It's been a week. It's been a week. But I feel like it's been a week I mean, for a couple years now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is like the third year of week. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Well, the good folks at home are probably wondering who these people are talking, and I'll tell you, they're the internet radio superstars. Holly. Michaela. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, I guess I am now. And I'm Colin. Wait, should we have switched? Wow. Because I, <laughs> I have a word changing mic cords and everything. Yeah, we're just uh, all over the place tonight. Um. Anyway, tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by Michaela. <laughs> I should have said Sean just to keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, all right. All keep right. keep up with a bit. <laughs> What uh, what are we watching tonight? What did we watch tonight? Doom Asylum. Doom Asylum, a movie that most of us had never heard of. Yeah, it sounds yeah, like yeah, yeah. it sounds like okay, you know those like cheap like two or three packs you get in the Walmart five dollar uh, bin. Sure. Sounds like it'd be Castlevania and Doom Asylum, right? Yeah, like, yeah. 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 that's yeah. not not that type pack. of movie at all. No, but, but now lovingly restored by Arrow Video. <laughs> yes, thank you, lovingly. Arrow Video. Thank important you. work. <laughs> yes, important important. You know what? Work. I'll take that job. If they want to pay right? me to restore movies like this, I'll fucking do it. Yeah, Sounds I'll awesome. Find some shit. Well, you just wonder. Well, I guess before we get into that, uh, what year did it come out? Nineteen eighty-seven. And who directed it? Richard Friedman. Okay. okay. We've been in the 87, 88 year for like the past couple picks. But, Sean, you'd be happy to know this guy directed many episodes of Baywatch Nights. Ah. Oh. There we go. <laughs> there we and go. and it, Silk Stockings. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. I have a question though. First season Baywatch Nights or second season Baywatch Nights? I don't know. There's a big difference <laughs> because there are vampires in season two. <laughs> well, and which I, one do you think he directed? I yeah. want to know yeah. if he's responsible. I like that Sean is our resident Baywatch expert. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the more he talks about it, the more I'm interested. Me too. Like, you know what? I'll Maybe I'll watch Me too. Nights. I mean, can we do Summer of Baywatch Nights? Yeah. <laughs> and summer of Hoff? Yeah. yeah. Just uh, like oh, every... Right, he is this in summer in Baywatch we Nights, Sean, yeah. Sean, would what? you say we're Hoff for the summer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Uh, it we works. Are, we are, yeah. yeah. Can we, do, we have to be? Can we do that, though? Can we just do, like, <laughs> one episode a week? Put it behind just do the paywall. whole summer? <laughs> I mean, whatever sort of week is our show. So, this is now a David Hasselhoff podcast. Oh, no. I'm in a weird mood, guys. Right, maybe when we get to the summer. Let's wait till the summer. Well, um, I guess, um, well, I mean, you're saying uh, that it's been restored. Vinegar mm -hmm. Syndrome's out, like, uh, in the, I mean, the, so, I mean, for those of you Why? who don't <laughs> collect, you know, so they're like a, a niche Blu-ray um, label that's mm -hmm. been basically restoring movies that you never heard of, right? Didn't Arrow also do Blood Rage? Uh, yes, they mm -hmm. did, yeah. yeah. Well, there's basically, I mean, who's left? There's like um, uh, Arrow, Vinegar Syndrome. Vestron. Vestron. The, they're Shout. back. Mm -hmm. Scream Factory. Severin. Severin, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And we've uh, done movies by all of them on this yeah. show. Yeah. But they're, I mean, that has to be what it is. They're like picking up like a license to something. And they get like 10 movies or 20 or whatever in a package. And they're just going through and like, which one's the most recognizable title? And then eventually they get down to Doom Asylum. Sometimes they get pallets of just film canisters and they're like, all right, what do we got here? Once again, yeah. great job. I'll take this job. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's dig through this and be like, oh, we got this movie no one's ever heard yeah. of in the past 40 years. Could you imagine? That's how, I mean, if you listen to our Miami Connection episode, like, that was someone who bid on eBay and bought the film reel and ended up with Miami Connection. Like, could yeah. you imagine opening yeah. a crate and getting, like, hard ticket to Hawaii or Miami Connection, like, well, finding that organically? Yeah. That's what they're hoping yeah. for, right? right that yeah. They're hoping that this is going to be, like, whatever is uh, inside no, this that's, can no, is going to be gold. That's like that that story I saw on the news recently about the woman who opened her spam folder and found that she won the lottery. Yeah, like that's what kind of shit that yeah. is. That's amazing. But that's they're just doing what 
I think a lot of us do, but on a bigger scale. It's film. Yeah, they're yeah. just get, they're getting paid to do it. Yeah, and we're yeah. not <laughs> right. We right. yeah. have the ability to do it, whereas we would. Yeah, but, but they're yeah. doing this thing that's like, I mean, you know, it, it's like they're trying because they put, you know, I saw the the cover art that they did for this, which is, you know, they uh, get an artist who's done like all these other covers for them and. So it's like, ooh, you know, somehow I missed this movie back in the 80s. I mean, it is kind of like I'm going through this phase of like they're coming out with stuff now that's like deep, 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 you know, like off the beaten right. path. Right, we found yeah. a lot of stuff. Now we're getting into the deep cuts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like now you haven't even heard of this stuff, you know, and like, but maybe there's a blood rage in there because nobody heard of blood rage. Yeah. It turns out to be like, you know. And, the great forgotten. And <laughs> every year I see more people on the internet talk about it. It grows every Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. So as it should. Mm-hmm. And that mm-hmm. one has come back. And so we went into this one hoping that we were going to find another uh, diamond in the rough. That's not entirely true. You had an ulterior motive for choosing this movie. It, well, I, so I have, you know, the li- we all have our lists of long running things we want to bring to the freak show. Yeah. And this was something that was on my list and I don't know how it got there. I assume I had to have heard it name dropped on another podcast or something sure. um and i was Name like doom asylum yeah i was going through my list and then i pulled this up i watched the arrow video trailer and was like oh my god this is amazing and <laughs> yeah Kristen davis and pat when i saw Kristen davis and patty mullen i was like sold yeah. based on those two alone yeah well that's fair. wait okay so for those of us who don't know who's Kristen davis Charlotte from Sex in the City, there or if you're a big uh, Deck the Halls fan, she was married to Matthew Broderick in that Christmas movie. She's been, so. she's been a lot of stuff. She's in like was that Couples Retreat movie. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. She's she's been in lots of. She's stuff. She's doing a lot of Lifetime and uh, Hallmark you know, Hallmark stuff. Christmas stuff now. Yeah, but we all yeah. got to start somewhere. Mm-hmm. And now we know. And usually yes. it's in horror. She yep. started with Doom Asylum. Doom Asylum. Mm-hmm. Okay, I thought you'd pick this because the Just Like That show was on, and you were like, "Yes, oh, yes, Colin, oh. I totally planned that synergy." <laughs> Well, well done. We'll say that. <laughs> well done. <laughs> and uh, Patty Mullen, for those of you who don't know, is Frank. Frank, obviously. <laughs> there you go. Which we did cover on our show. Yeah. And I think we all recommended. Yep. Frank and Hooker. We did. You said we this did. was before Frank and Hooker, right? Yeah. Years before? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she is the Frank and Hooker. Yes. And Frank and Hooker. And yeah. She's in this. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's also in. Nothing else. I was like, she's not on the wall now, I was right? Say, no, she's no. one movie. We have, well, we got to find one more thing. She had to do but in another Hennenlader movie, right? I don't think so. I no? think I that think she so. did two movies, and we've seen them. Oh, oh really? I think so. Oh, right, no, that's so really maybe sad. Maybe an honorary spot. Captain yeah. Google is on if the case Captain here. Yeah. Shows us. We'll know shortly. To her. Um. Okay. So the American. Slaughter High. It really is. is it really is the American tonight. Slaughter High. Okay. The, which, the, which, New, which the New Slaughter Jersey High. Slaughter okay, High, to yes, be specific. The Long Island Slaughter High. Yeah. So which why is what you say that? Slaughter High. That should have been the title. Long Island Slaughter High. I'm sure that's a title of some <laughs> yeah. movie somewhere. It's got to be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I say that because uh, this movie looks like it was filmed in the exact same place mm-hmm. as Slaughter High. It's, and it's all in the daytime. And all in the daytime. It looks like an abandoned asylum of some sort, a school. Of would you be sort. shocked if I told you it was a real deal abandoned asylum? I would not be shocked. <laughs> that's the most like realistic it. thing in this movie. Mm-hmm, yep. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, yeah, they stumbled upon this place. Mm-hmm. There it's it like you got this for eight days. Movie shot in eight days. Yep. Movie shot in eight days. If you can for ninety thousand dollars. Unfortunately, what? The, how do you spend ninety thousand dollars in eight days on <laughs> special this effects? Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, all right. So Patty Mullen was also in. Well, no, I just want. To- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Like, uh... Yeah. No. The only way that we can bring her to the freak show is if we cover her one episode of The Equalizer in nineteen eighty eight. What? Uh, she got some penthouse pet videos we can watch or something. No, but now I'm finding something. <laughs> uh, strange toys. That's a penthouse pet All right, pet all right. Video. It's gotta be. Yeah. A meteorite hits a trash dumpster outside a toy store, and a strange green slime leaks into the garbage. Okay, I'm, is, I'm in. What is I'm this? in. <laughs> I'm in. Is this, well, it said only. Is this an episode or a movie? It said only three things, and then I clicked it, and it came to this too. So th- where did this come? What from? is that? Hmm. Okay. Well, we so that. Ruth Collins, who plays like Tina. I'd, I don't want to. I, I want to say villain, but I don't. She's not really the villain. She's the antagonist, I guess. The, the leader of the punk yes. band. So I would. I her she IMDb is page. Yeah. She is a Power Rangers villain. Her IMDb page is a rabbit hole in itself because her other t- 
top credits from this movie are a movie called Hell Roller, which is about a serial killer in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> and the yes. poster is just a wheelchair and it just says Hell Roller. And then she's in another movie Equal called Opportunity Slash. Yeah. That's what I like. So we're going to have to watch this at some point. And then uh, a movie called Witch Academy from 1995, which also oh, wow. looked like a weird fantasy movie that we what? might have to watch. Okay. So, wow. okay. yeah. Love it. Hell the Lord. red string that comes from this movie is yeah. wonderful. <laughs> it's all going to hell. Yeah. Lord. That sounds amazing. Mm-hmm. Wow. Does, it kill people? Does it roll over people's necks? I'm going to pull up the poster because I think you guys need to see like the that full the amazing. full like essence like, does of Hellroller. Spikes on the wheels at some No, point? it's just it's like a normal and like the city's on fire behind it. <laughs> and there's like Why? eyes in the what, fire. What year is that? It is 1992. Oh, that's going to be no good. Oh, wow. wow. It if is it was just the a, 80s, I'd give it a shot. A wheelchair with a city. Yep. It's going to be bad. Fire and uh, the tagline is, Satan has a new set of wheels. Mm. No, it's going to be bad. <laughs> a possessed this is wheelchair. The, this is the 21st anniversary collection <laughs> DVD case. Why is it the 21st? Oh, okay. Is it just the chair? Like the chair is killing people? No, or? it says a serial killer in a wheelchair in the description. Okay. I mean, we have to watch this, We have right? to. Yeah, yeah. that's... Uh, yeah. It's mandatory. They have for to. Yeah. Yeah. So, Slackers. <laughs> see again, so many movies. Once you we, we'll once never you, run out. Yeah, yeah. No. No. We'll once never you run pull out. a string. No. Yeah, especially after we do that summer of Baywatch night. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. Yes. <laughs> wow. Well, okay. So the movie it does take place mostly in an asylum that they found. This is shot in New Jersey. Yep. You said so. It's a. I mean, I guess is the location a uh, character unto itself? Yes. In this or yeah. Because so. the only other the only other scenes in this movie are what we have the well, it's the, morgue. the only location yeah it's the morgue and the road yeah like that's it's the it. only location yeah. and I think we see the road more than once yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is also one of those movies that was shot on film mm-hmm. like back in yeah. the eighties but was never actually intended to play in a theater because once the movie play does the uh, once the, the main credits come up. They're on video on this version because yeah. they could recreate. You know, it's like we well we restored all the film, and right. then I'm like, did they Can't restore video? Cut it right, like to the original soundtrack and recut the whole thing. I don't know. Like so, this could have been a lot of work on the part of Arrow Video. Once again, I'll take that job. <laughs> Sounds like fun to me. Yeah, like yeah. If my job was just like, all right, here's editing this, movies fix, like this, fix this, and they gave me this movie, I'd be like, fuck yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, That's a dream right. job. <laughs> okay, I'll make this better. And on our hard ticket to Hawaii episode, we talked about how that seems like a movie on your at your grocery store, video store. Yes. Beyond, so that would be on the wire rack for action, right? Yeah. yeah. This would be on the horror wire rack at your grocery store, because yeah. this was a direct-to-video movie. Yeah. 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 I'm, Sure you Which I looked to, up, well, shocked I looked to know up that. the uh, VHS cover, and I'm like, I don't remember. It's a, it's a misleading cover, isn't it? Looks yeah. like a haunted house movie. It does. Mm-hmm. But then I was also kind of shocked and horrified at the same time to discover while we were watching this movie that I had seen it before. <laughs> and it yes. bleached yes. it out of my mind. I'm like, oh, no, it's coming back. <laughs> the realization did memories. overcome you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That like rarely happens. I'm like, I think I've seen this one. <laughs> Yeah. You okay. usually remember like everything you I watch. Yeah. You're yeah. not like me where as soon as you watch it, it's out your, it's out of your mind. No, right. No. Yeah. I, I only do that with certain live shows. How Colin deleted is. those files. <laughs> it was like, I was like, nope, don't need these. Yep. yep. <laughs> Had to make room for something else. Um, <laughs> I got a commentary to watch. <laughs> I'm sure there is. I'm sure they got the director and all that stuff to. Oh yeah, there's a ton of special features. Awesome and shit. special features for this movie mm-hmm. to justify your purchase after they trick you into buying it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I don't know how that covers. Not too know, bad. Not, not too bad. bad. Yeah. It's pretty convincing because mm-hmm. it reminds me of. I think at the same time around there was like I remember Edge of the Axe. Yeah, that's the other yeah. one. That's I was a cool bring title. Out. That's yeah, such a cool, cool title. title. Yeah. Cool poster, and I saw that one, and that also was like, uh, <laughs> was that from the director of Pieces? If it feels like it was a Spanish movie, it might have been. Wait, did we talk about this director? We watch it, Nights and Silk right. Stockings. That's it. That's all we. There's had. a couple movies that sound like fake movies. I'm Nothing I've ever heard he of. Had a career yeah. after this. Yeah. Yeah. He does a lot of TV now. He yeah. did the Friday the Thirteenth TV series too. Oh, a couple episodes okay. of that. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna, yeah, there's no pluses here. <laughs> this is not. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one with Roby and the guy I wouldn't from... say anyone's career was improved by this movie. What about uh, Kristen Davis? 
What, what do you mean? What was about the, was this her big start? Yeah, this yeah. is her first movie. Yeah. First movie. Yeah. So her career. Mm-hmm. Somebody there you saw go. this But movie not because of this movie. No. How do you know the cast She's bad in this and, movie. This She's a, really bad. This is a movie bad. to like work out your acting technique. To I get guess. your SAG card. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> if that, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. Like, hopefully it's union. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody I mean, saw Patty Mullen in it, cast her in Frank and Hooker. Uh, I hope so. Uh, maybe. Uh, I, I can't I imagine she would <laughs> after this movie, but, but whatever. But yet she still comes off better than Kristen Davis, I think. Yeah. Well, Kristen, what is Kristen Davis's character in this movie? We have nerd girl. We have, Wait, we have characters the, in this movie. We have yeah, stereotypes. Yeah. I would say yes. the nerd girl. I'd say the intellectual. There's every every tropiest trope trope right. trope character you could have. She's the intellectual, like you said. She's the intellectual. There's Jack. There is hot a, girl. Yep. Okay. Yep. Nerd guy. Nerd baseball card collector. Yep. yep. And then her, who we, who we said was intellectual girl, and then black guy, cool black guy, cool, cool black, black guy. guy yes. Yep. Ladies that, man, yeah. black guy yeah. Yeah. who obviously also, fifth wheel. Yeah. Oh yep. yeah 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 yeah. But that gives him an opportunity to start romancing the uh, drummer. Godiva. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Of the punk okay. band. No, okay. there's no no nobody romances anybody, Colin. <laughs> they, they just fantasize meet. about it. Yeah. yeah they just talk about it for twenty yeah. minutes first. They just think about running towards each other in a field. Several times. That. Several times. Yes. How yeah. many minutes of screen time do you think them running in the field was? Like five? I mean, half of this movie is that, and the other half is a different movie. So, uh, <laughs> literally, uh, literally a different movie. <laughs> yeah. And this movie is how long? 75 minutes. Okay. It's a long 75 minutes. Yeah. Indeed. All right. So, to set up our plot for the folks at home, we're introduced to a couple. Driving in a convertible down... Drinking uh, champagne while they're driving. And pouring it on each other's crotches. Because who are they? And why are they celebrating? Patty and... Uh, da- was his name David? I don't remember what Maybe, his name was. He's, he's, a, a, he's, a, he's a lawyer. Yeah. He's yeah. a lawyer. He's, he's lawyer. a lawyer. Right. He's her lawyer. He's a palimo- or an alimony lawyer. Yeah, she mm-hmm. just won a big settlement that got her millions. Right. This is important because this pays off later on. In a sure. joke? No, like the whole plot of the That's movie. That's the whole right? plot like, of the movie. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. So anyway, they start making out on the road. Yep. I'd say Mitch. Fur- furiously, Mitch. Mitch. They start furiously yeah. making out on the road. It's yep. vigorous. Yep. Vigorous. There you go. Yep. That's a better. <laughs> vigorously making out yeah. as they're driving. Oh, 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 I miss vigorously making out. <laughs> 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 we are recording oh, this episode oh, right damn. before Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Yeah, this is yeah. The Valentine's so Day we're all a little reflective. And <laughs> Speak for yourself, like, Aww. Aww. Sean. We can be each other's Valentine. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love you, but God damn it! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you shouldn't vigorously make out while you're, <laughs> while you're driving. <laughs> no, you shouldn't vigorously make out with anybody while yeah. you're while you're driving. Or yes. drinking. Shouldn't be drinking. Or drink, while you're yeah, driving. the champagne. Yeah. 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 That's the big one. Yeah. Yeah. And then driving down a you know country road that says something to the effect of uh, you know there's no outlet or whatever. Anyway, they get into a horrifying accident. Which we don't actually see because we see the camera uh, yeah, all right. over. The camera just shakes. Because let's remember, <laughs> ninety thousand dollars. Yep. <laughs> yep. Right. Yeah. You show uh, the before and the after, never the actual. Right. Hey, Blumhouse does the same thing. And that, it works well, that's for what them. I'm saying. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that's <laughs> but, the trick. But the after pays off with a severed hand. It does. Yes. <laughs> She's horribly Where's the mangled? rest of her hand, Holly? Under the grass. <laughs> it's like there's like a pile of hay, and she's got her hand like poked hay. in the hay. Yeah. 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 And he finds a severed hand. But this is what I didn't get about this. And maybe, I mean, it, it can't be intentional. He gets, uh, you know, he's covered in blood and he crawls over to her and, like, oh, what was her name? Judy. Judy. Mm-hmm. Judy. Oh, and, you know, and uh, then she dies. And then we cut to a morgue. Right. Uh, where right. two or the mortician and uh, assistant right. are working on his yep. body. Also Which everybody lunch. take a shot. We got a coroner <laughs> eating a sandwich right, over yeah. a dead body. That's right. They're right. smart enough to know that. Yeah. But then made the rest of. Well, yeah, movie. it was eighty-seven. How many movies had done it at yeah. this point? You know, yeah. this is late in the slasher. He was also wearing sunglasses. Yes, that yes. was their addition to that trope. They were going to put yeah. sunglasses. They, on. they said, "Let's put a hat on a hat and put sunglasses Basically, on yeah. this yeah. guy." Yeah. 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 <laughs> How I can we make the joke funnier, making yeah. it weirder? I don't get why the body of the guy that we see here of Mitch's body is uh, like partially skinned. 
Because they were doing the autopsy. Yeah. Is that what? Okay, yes. That's what we're they saying? had yeah. already started the autopsy. Yeah. And that's, that's why how he you looks do like an that. autopsy. You peel the skin no, off that's somebody's not, face. I think, no, he, uh, I think it depends. I think it was him landing on the concrete I know in the car they, accident. I know sliding they, his face off. I know they peel back the scalp. Yeah. To do like stuff with the brain. Yeah. But no, this feels like off, a, they don't peel off the face. This feels like an accident. Part I know. Of it. This I, feels like part of the accident. That's what I thought. I'm like, this. But we saw his face. Because we saw him after the accident. It wasn't that way. I think it's the autopsy. Like this is all. I, I'm gonna say continuity. Process. Yeah, because the guy, the, the assistant, said something like, "What happened to him?" And he was like, "It was in a horrible accident." And it's like, "Here's the makeup job of the accident." Yeah, you know. Right. But we I saw him totally fine a minute ago. Yeah. For, uh, no. Well, but Sean is an insane, insane asylum. So, so the the, uh, the, the corners so he's are, are not insane. But well, apparently but like, they are. <laughs> they have this legend of torture and doing horrible things to their patients, right? That's like the American myth of insane asylums. I'm is that sure. they do but these is horrible he, things. But is he in an insane asylum at this right. point? Because this is just a regular. It, this begs the question. Not the insane asylum. Well, but yeah, I mean, that's what you How, get out of this. It right? has to be. It has to be. So they what you're it, saying is it's the same place. It has to be. Okay. Because he's still yeah. there. They make How it, else would he get there? They make it seem like it's happening yeah. in this place. Yeah. So what is the year's difference? Right. 10 years. Is it, it says. Ten, there's a title card that says 10 years. Oh, is, I must have missed it. 10 years? Yeah, and, he, oh. and, and they make the co- the stupid kids make the comment, like, it's been 10 years since your mom's accident. Yeah, well, it's, uh, when they're for, when the kids are driving down the screen, it says 10 years. On right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, and so that's her daughter. Yeah. Yes. Kiki which is, is why daughter. Kiki is her daughter. Yeah. Okay. I'm oh, going through no. a lot with this movie, oh, and I'm trying to. Well, you're, it now. you're just now catching up. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I don't want you to be my Valentine anymore. <laughs> yeah. I don't like we, dumb people. That's why we're saying it was important that we know yeah. that this is the whole motive for the whole movie. Right, is right. that uh, Duder lost the, the uh, Judy yeah. at the beginning, okay. and now he's after her daughter for right. the She's got that the money. Movie. So yeah. yeah. So he wakes up mid-autopsy. I'm sorry, I wasn't convinced by uh, <laughs> Kiki's story <laughs> that I could connect. That's it. fair. That's, that's yeah. my bad. <laughs> Even though it was played by the same person? Was, was she? Same person? Yeah. Okay, no. So I didn't catch <laughs> that. Patty Mullen was her mom and her daughter. Okay. What? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't catch that. Yes. I didn't catch Screw that. you, Holly. <laughs> her hair wasn't Don't that different, you guys. Wow. I'm not the only idiot here. <laughs> you take that back. <laughs> Yeah, Patty Mullen playing two roles in this okay. movie. Was she okay. also just wearing the red bikini in the beginning too? Because... Her hair wasn't that different. I don't know how you well, guys I, noticed but, uh, it. Like she was. Was she also wearing the blue denim shirt? She had a butt, like mm-hmm. a button up like blazer thing almost. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. No, it didn't. I think she no. was wearing red though. <laughs> right. I thought she was yeah. wearing red. I, don't I think know. she was. Wow. Yeah. I didn't catch that. Yeah. Choices. Choices for and this I've movie. And I've seen it twice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So maybe this movie is better than you think, Colin. Oh, maybe. Maybe this is uh, this is deep. So <laughs> we're going with, uh, uh, we got a bunch of vacation. This is a horror trope. We got a bunch of vacationing uh, kids mm-hmm. uh, and they're in a Teens. convertible <laughs> and they're listening to the exact same song coming over the hill at the exact same angle. So much that we thought maybe the movie was repeating itself. <laughs> we thought the stream again. started over. Yeah. 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 And so where are they going? To the asylum because to sunbathe and have a picnic. To have a picnic yeah. at the abandoned asylum. Where her mom, near where her mom had an accident. Yeah, because yep. that's the thing. Yep. She's like, eh, I don't Tra- like that trauma. my mom died here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Dress just like me. <laughs> <laughs> so. Mm-hmm. Well, Can you imagine if the four of us were going out somewhere <laughs> and you're just like, oh, Holly, <laughs> we're going to go hang out at the place where this person you really love died. Is yeah. that okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's weird. Like, but That's you know, my mom weird. died. Okay, but the movie, because uh, the jock boyfriend actually does have a oh, solution God, to deal jock. with this. Oh. Right? Dumb jock. Yeah. And that Indecisive is, jock. I can be your mom. And she says, would you be my mom? Would you be mom? Yeah. Can, can I call you can mom? Can I call you mom? He says, sure. And so then she calls him mom. For the rest mom. of this the, the movie. Sets up the weirdest running joke I've seen in a movie in a long time. Yeah. Where'd mom go? Where they just call him mom. Is mom just hanging off the building? And then he tries to kiss her at one point and (laughs) she says, ew, no, that's incest. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. We're really taking this joke (laughs) too far. Yeah. (laughs) Hey, mom. Yeah. (laughs) It's fucking weird. (laughs) But then even Kristen Davis gets in on it later and she's like, oh, what's mom doing? Yeah. And it's like, wait, we're all doing this now? This is like a collective mental illness now? Yeah. Yeah, So. What? What? Because She's supposed to be like all into psychology. She shouldn't be feeding right, into this, this weird very Freudian. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because point. every character has the their complex. one thing. 
right? Mm -hmm. Kristen Davis is a psychologist, She's so every single yes. part of her... Well, she wants to be a psychologist, well, right. right? Her parents are, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah, her yeah, parents yeah. are. Mom, dad. So she interprets everything... In every scene. Everything is a psychoanalysis. Yes. yes. Yeah. She's yes. reading the interpretation of dreams by Freud yep. for fun on her sunbathing at the asylum Naturally. Yes. And uh, the jock boyfriend, whose real name we don't know, but for, oh, whom, for the rest of us, oh, let's is not, mom. Yeah. Let's not waste the effort to look it up. Yeah, mom. Mom. His thing is... He's Allegedly a, Mike? I don't ever remember hearing anybody I, call I him that. Because I think he was Mike like for a scene, and then he yeah. was mom for the rest of the movie. <laughs> but he's indecisive. Or is he? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah, it does that. The whole every, fucking movie. Every scene that he's in. He, I could. He asks himself rhetorical help? questions. I could help. Yep. Or should I? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. The whole time. Like, yep. It, would, it might have been funny if he started referring to himself in the third person while he was doing it, but he didn't. Does Mike want this? Does mom want oh, this? Does mom does. want this? Does mom want to do this right now? <laughs> this is... The only way this would have paid off was during his death scene. Yeah. And it didn't. Did he? Yeah. So he bled to death, right? We'll get to it, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll get to it. I'm like, his death scene. Exactly. The toes. I was very... I don't know. I remember the toes. <laughs> very well, what's the, uh, what's the one thing? So if we're going down the cast list. Right. And then we've got Kiki, uh, mm -hmm. Kiki who's the Kiki. airhead. Mm -hmm. Frankenhooker. Uh, hot girl. Hot girl, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Who parades around in a red bikini for the entire movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, so does the intellectual one. Yeah, it is a one, well, piece, a one piece, which is that's the how difference. you know she's ugly, Sean. Yes. <laughs> one piece, she got she's glasses, ugly. a one piece. She's got things to hide. Yes, that's why she's shameful even, and wearing <laughs> that. Okay, piece. even it's even, a, even though it's a one piece that hides no nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. Very nothing. high cut. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> very high Jesus. cut. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, that's why yeah. I asked what year it was. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm just like should. <laughs> The highest of high cut <laughs> swimsuits. Are they, are, wait, no, I'm like, are these the '70s Bush years, or like, no. I'm like, where are we at? In no, this no. Point? no. But for swimming suits. No. Um, and then we have um, who's after that? We the got, dude, Eddie. Nerd. nerd. Is the his nerd name boy? Eddie? What was his name? <laughs> what was his name? Wade the Boggs. Base, baseball. Wade Boggs. Wade Dennis. Boggs. Dennis. Oh. Dennis. That's Wade Boggs. No. Which okay, I'm. I know it's always sunny came after this, yeah. but Wade Boggs is forever changed because it's always sunny had two episodes about yeah. Wade Boggs <laughs> yeah. that were called the Gang Beats Boggs. Yeah. So like, ah. it, I just can't hear that name and not think. Oh, absolutely. And take it seriously. I absolutely. So. And I don't think you should in this movie, <laughs> yeah. considering what is going on. He's got his baseball cards that he's very, mm -hmm. um, he's very fond of. They get wet. He dries them off. They blow away. He chases after him. This is how he dies. He chases after him. It was on fishing wire. Clearly. Yeah, I was going to say, Wade Boggs goes on a trip. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if like he, upstairs into a building. Mm -hmm. Why does anyone that collects baseball cards have them with them? Like, yeah, you really should. You'd think Unless, you think at least I'm, have them in sleeves if you're going to do that, right? This may have been a new pack. Like he picked it up on the way. I thought this it's possible. Was like this classic. was like his collection. Yeah. yeah, I think he got a new pack. He's like, oh, I got a Wade Boggs. He tries to trade them with the killer at some point. Isn't was Wade Boggs like one of the first people to do one of those? Don't say no. Uh, things I got busted for because it seems like they're telling us the story of Wade Boggs. Do you know what I know about Wade Boggs, Colin? <laughs> <laughs> he drank what thirty six beers. Took a on a four hour flight from uh, yeah. was it Chicago to L A. Yeah. And then immediately got off the plane and and pitched a no hitter. Yep, oh, that's yeah. what I know about that's Wade Boggs because that's it's that's always, the, it's always sunny episode. Oh, okay. they, yeah, the, the gang goes on a flight to see if they can break the they, the to, Wade Boggs challenge to see if they can out drink him and yeah. then also pitch a no hitter. Yeah. yeah. I love that show. Yeah. I know it's so. It's, it's so a great good. episode. It is a great episode. And they have white t-shirts on, and they draw tally marks on their shirts for how many beers they've drank on the flight. It's, <laughs> it's such a good episode. Yeah. Well, there's an article uh, by Bleacher Report and the 25 hardest partying players in baseball history. So yeah, oh, okay. yep. right. So there's your Wade. Boggs. He was an alcoholic that also was really good at baseball. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the the teenage hormonal Lothario. Well, I guess that is his thing. His thing is just that he's cool and he attracts the attention of the uh, ba the, the the drummer of the band because there's three other characters in this movie. Yeah, they're all just hanging out at the same. They're place. like a like a punk girl band. Like, uh, oh god. Uh, I mean, playing some of the worst music I've ever heard. Like, that is not, that's oh, an yeah. insult to punk rock. Yeah, no, I I'm just were, talking about based on their appearance, <laughs> they not were, their quote, music. Unquote, performing. It's like Russian screamo metal. 
I was talking about the way they're dressed mostly. I do like that Russian screamo is a good way to describe them. Yeah. Yeah, they're revolutionaries, or one of them is. The French ones are revolutionaries. (laughs) Yeah. And then uh, you've got the one lead... Uh, blonde Tina. 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 Tina is the lead blonde. Has this laugh that punctuates. She does the the every single line. Maniacal. Laugh. What's the What's the villain from Power Rangers? <laughs> oh, Rita Repulsa. Rita Repulsa. Yeah, Rita Repulsa. It is. It yeah. is the. It's almost the. Uh, After she does 10, the evil years, laugh. I'm free. Yeah, yeah and like then but it's also laugh. like the camera pullback real quick mm-hmm. as they're laughing is is mm-hmm. part of it. And it's just like and yeah. she, she throws her head back and throws her hands up every time yeah. she does it yeah. too, and it's, she does it at the end of almost every sentence. Yeah, this is a person who doesn't know how to act. And we also made uh, nope. notice of her walking around with her mouth open through a most lot. of this movie. And her yeah. hair is weird. She's got like a weird perm wig, but also like a long ass braid. That, like, but it's she a fake braid. It's yeah. weird. And she, but she's not Rapunzel. The other one is Rapunzel. Right. Yeah. yeah. Weird. Rapunzel has like a bunch of crimps. Yeah. 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 And she was in Tina. Or Tina, Tina. 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 Rapunzel. And Godiva. Godiva. Yeah. yeah. Do you Godiva's know what the name the of their band is? Tina, say, right? It's like Tina and they the do. something. And the lug nuts or something like that. I can't remember. Where did you get that? Yeah. How did you know Where that? did they say that? I missed that. <laughs> Tina and the Turners. <laughs> it was something because they were talking about, yeah, they usually play in the sewers around here what? or whatever. <laughs> and somehow they know I who they are. Missed it. They do. They know who they are. Yeah. Because yeah. they're calling Tina by her name and all this yeah. stuff. So they're aware of who she is and that they're all yeah. there together. Yeah. yeah, Tina's legendary. She's also immortalizing graffiti in the asylum. Um, yeah, <laughs> right. she plays True. chess. She does play chess. Was and it Tina throws... and the tits? No. T- what? Are you sure? Well, but there was Tina and tits yeah. spray painted. Yeah, this it movie. has to be. I think it was Tina and the tits. Oh, uh, maybe. Okay. I've. How did you even? <laughs> Where in the movie is this? At the beginning, <laughs> they are talking about like that's because they say it. But I'm talking about like the, I know they're a band and everything. Like the name, like it. But I only I'm, I'm incredulous because it makes sense based on the graffiti in this movie, yeah. uh-huh. which is all the connective the tissue the I need. Graffiti is like another character in it this movie. Kinda yeah. Is. Yeah, it kind of is. You're kind of just reading shit in the background. Be like, all right. Yeah, I know. I was doing that. A lot of shots. Just oh yeah. Like <laughs> reading what was written, and apparently some of that was like uh, original graffiti on this place. If we <laughs> haven't established it, because I don't know if we said, but this is a comedy. It's a horror comedy. Mm, uh, it's yeah. not a straight horror Purposely? movie. It has to be. It has to be on purpose. They oh, had it's to know absolutely what they were doing. on purpose. <laughs> it I think moments are, but I don't know if it. I think the whole is, thing is. Yeah, I think I it is. There's a lot. I'm what, not what? saying it's all funny. It doesn't all land, but this whole thing was meant we to saw, be. We saw. I saw something in this. I'm like, okay, this feels more purposeful than I thought it was, but I forgot what it was. It was the scene where mom is hanging off <laughs> the roof. <laughs> yes, because right? him and Tina. By get mom, we mean up. Mike, Mike, her yeah. yes, yeah. love interest that yes. she's calling mom. <laughs> they get into this. Hey, is absurd... that mom hanging off the roof? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like a three minute fight scene uh, <laughs> that ends up with him hanging off the roof. Her st- Tina standing laughing on at him, his yeah, yeah and laughing. Her Rita repulsing, laughing at yeah. him, yeah. and trying to peel his hands off, and then he hears his girlfriend scream, and all of a sudden he leaps up off and he pops leaps. up and runs yeah. off. Kiki, he, he gets like, air over yeah. the top of yeah, the yeah, roof. Yeah, yeah. How he like, he like free willies over? Her. Yeah, <laughs> like it's, he does. Yeah, it's good. So this hospital has a legend about it that we're told about that there's a killer, creepy coroner mm-hmm. running around killing people. Right, and we're like, wait, I thought. Duder, when he came back to life, killed the coroner, but apparently he took the coroner's jacket and yep. now he's the killer coroner because yeah. why not? So now he gets to make coroner I and mean, lawyer jokes? Yeah. That's how urban legends work, though, right? They start off as one thing and evolve into another. Very true. So, so for quick evolution. years, right? Because he right. looks like this, right? Because we're not sure if he's actually dead and alive like a zombie yeah. or he is alive. I'm confused by that whole I would assume he's dead. Lore. So you looks, think he's he a looks, zombie? He I would assume dead. he was alive because he was never actually dead. Right. Or did he come back from the dead? Well, no, I think they the just table. prematurely autopsied him. <laughs> he looks pretty dead. They yeah. definitely took out like his intestines. Yeah, we, that's right, because we see a bucket of his yeah, intestines yeah. Like, yeah. at the floor. He's dead. Yeah. All right, this How is, is he dead, though? and we're very confused. How is he dead if he was never actually dead, though? I think, I think he, he, died he died during the autopsy. Yeah, then he came back to life. I think the IMDb would say you're wrong. Because I'm pretty sure the description of this movie says, like, mistakenly identified as dead. <laughs> uh, but they're like us. They're like, uh, I was going to say, they're going like, it's the only explanation we got. <laughs> <laughs> a horribly disfigured lawyer, wrongfully pronounced dead after a terrible accident, is taken to an asylum for dissection, only to come back alive. 
How come did back he, alive. How did he come back alive come back if he was alive. never dead? There you come go. Back alive. See, they don't know. Wrongfully they have no pronounced. Idea. How is he wrongfully pronounced dead, yeah, but, but also so back so alive? But they then have he's, no idea. Because he's killed in the autopsy, and then he comes back to life. They have no idea. They are as clueless as we are. Wrongfully pronounced dead. To comes me, sounds like life. he was never actually dead. Comes back. In the autopsy. Life. He died. If, then he comes back. He kills the coroner and the assistant, yes. and then for 10 years... He watches, he watches the stories. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he does. He watches a movie. He or watches multiple movies. Right, because we determined that these are all Todd uh, Slaughter movies from the 30s. It must be public domain or something yeah. like that. Mm. It does. Miss- they seem pretty good. I know, right? Yeah, I was we into them. So much so at a point we're just like, no, stay stay yeah. with the movie. Stay yeah. with the black and white movie. They I want to know how it goes. They would invested. cut away right at the climax of every movie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, including the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. Yeah. Right? yeah. One of them. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure. Well, I, I mean, was into it. I was too. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out, I'm like, all right, is this padding for time? Is there a purpose for these movies specifically? Tell me. I don't know. It's 100% padding like, for time. I feel like padding for time. Okay, but I want because to I didn't get anything out of the reiterate movie. that this is a 75 minute movie. <laughs> and how long are we saying the movie clips are? Mm, I'm gonna say five. Minutes. I'm gonna say five minutes. Realistically, five minutes. I would say five to ten. Okay, I'm going five to ten. Yeah, yeah. I okay. would say five. To I 10. will bet you I could go through go and for like I could go through a minute and time them all in this movie. Yeah. It'd be less than five minutes. Be my guest. Go for it. Yeah, I think. Our, cause, <laughs> Ooh, cause that's a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> you said some, you that's a good dare. Wrong. Some of them are over a minute long. Because yeah. I remember yeah. sitting there going like, Jesus Christ, yeah. we've been like we're trying watching this movie. Yeah. But then, but then it kind of like loops back around because you watch it long enough that you get invested and you're like, okay, well I'm fine with this now. Right. And by the time you're settled into it, then they cut away. Right. Yeah. Yeah, then Doom Asylum is the movie that's cutting in on your yeah, movie. I'm yeah. just like, no, I want to watch the other movie. I'm more interested in this. And, like, These people are acting. Listener, we're literally seeing like the back of his head for a second in front of the TV and then yeah. cut right into the movie. And that's right. how we get into these scenes. And it gets you at like they reveal the killer and you're like, oh, fuck it. Like it, it goes away. <laughs> yeah. It's Even so though, irritating. Because, like I was initially like, what what's going on? Like, because you see the same guy. In you know Todd Slaughter in yeah. all these movies, but right. you become aware that like you're not watching the same movie, right? Because right. I like, thought because <laughs> like, we were seeing him, I, I thought we were watching the this. same one. Yeah, I'm like, why is this scene here? There was one where there was like a fight scene, somebody fell, and I'm like, okay, they're putting that around the the Doom Asylum fight scene. Yes, but well, that part made like, sense. I don't see any connection or relevance here at all, other no. than like here's something to do. So if I have this straight, we have a killer who's not a coroner, but he's assumed the identity of a coroner, right. stalking an asylum. Right. He sits there and watches TV. Every once in a while, he gets up and goes off and kills someone. Then he comes back and he watches TV. Then he goes, kill someone, comes back and watches TV because all he wants to do is watch TV until he realizes that one of the girls is the daughter of... Of his long lost love, yep. killed go. in the car crash. Yep. How did he realize that, Colin? He's got the newspaper clipping. What is the exact scene that he realizes that? Wasn't it the scene where? He, well, he realizes it right off the bat. Yeah, because we the, see the newspaper oh, clipping in he, the beginning. No, no, but he actually walked. They're sunbathing, and he walks up. We're camera point of view. Walks up within like five. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's <laughs> right, that's right. But they don't see him. Yeah. <laughs> and he holds the newspaper clipping up. Yeah, he yeah. might have just walked up and like held it like held it next to her face. face yeah. And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's lines you. up. That's yeah. you. That would have been funny. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and it literally is her because she played both roles. So, oh so we have several moments in this movie, like when, like he's hiding behind a door that's like literally two feet in front of them. Yeah. It's so funny though because he opens it and then it's like he hears him in the hallway. He's like, oh, 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 oh and oh. backs up and shuts <laughs> the door real quick. And they're like, what was that? It's like, oh, maybe it was the door that just shut two feet away from you. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, this is a movie that has like some of the if you're wa- if you like watching those kind of movies that uh, you know like. Um, there's a bunch of on-screen gaffes where people are... There's one scene, I think, that takes place in a chapel where... Yeah. Uh, They're praying, right? Yeah, they pray. pray. That was I so forgot funny. About. Is praying they take again. a time to pray in this movie. Forgot about I'll that. I'll give you whatever you want, God. I'll give you money, sex, 
or like a charge card or whatever, and you can see or a charge card to Bloomingdale's. To Bloomies, yeah. Charge card to Bloomies, she says. And you can see the actor like start to break his up. Sho- <laughs> his shoulders are like going up and down. And like he's crazy, looking down and he's like, like nope. Yeah. I don't know. Keep praying. But the, the prayer scene is so funny because we come in on it and we're like, well, this is out of context. This is wild. We cut away and then we come back and they're still praying. Yeah. The cut yeah. back is what really killed me. It's like, yeah. oh, this is still happening, huh? Yeah. Well, that <laughs> happened several times. I was I know. maybe used to it by then. Yeah. It's like, the we're praying just was so we're, funny, we're though. Back. Oh, we're still doing this. Uh, okay. There was that the tracking shot where, uh, I mean, because obviously these filmmakers, man, they know like a good shot when they when they have it. And they're like, we're gonna, we got uh-huh. we get we can go past these rooms <laughs> and you can see through right. the room to the hallway beyond it. Wouldn't it be awesome if we had <laughs> a, 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 somebody running? Through, so he could track them in this shot. Yeah, we'll dolly the camera, and you run through. The only problem, apparently, (laughs) (laughs) is the the dolly operator or something. They can't move that fast, and so they had to get the actor to slow down (laughs) to match the speed of the dolly. I like to think that he couldn't run faster than that. Like that's it. (laughs) Like that's how he ran, and they're just like, "Well, we no, we can move the camera faster. Can you go faster?" It's like. Going as fast as I can, guys. He's running the speed of like, of like barely making it through like the mile in gym class. Yeah, you know how, and you're just like hobbling to the end. Yeah. That's you, what it looks like. The speed at which he runs. If you run fast, your arms would be pumping. But if you run slower, your arms tend not to pump as much, and so they kind of flail out a little bit. Yeah, that's what he was doing. Mm. Yeah. he was flailing he, as he ran. Here's the thing: once you start noticing how people run in movies, it's a very slippery <laughs> slope. Don't start looking for it because you'll notice how often people try to make it look like they're running fast. Oh when no, they're not. that's my it favorite thing. I love time. watching yeah. like, oh, a, are they really running or are they not? There's a lot of episodes of Gilmore Girls where like the running around the town square is real sad. Once you uh, realize they're like, oh, yeah. trying to make a. 10 foot run look real dramatic. Oh you know? no, I love it when the guys like there's a, a steady cam going and somebody's in front of it trying to run and they're trying to keep a pace and it doesn't look right. But I love you, that. You really appreciate when the old geezers like Sylvester Stallone do their run because he does those flat out runs like he yeah. did it in the Rockies and Expendables and his head's going like a turkey. As he's <laughs> like, I'm like, wow. And Tom Cruise, he's a runner. Tom Cruise is a runner. Yeah, yeah. the problem is those when they have runners. to run a short distance but make it look like they're running fast. That's when it starts to look mm, real weird. Is when right. you have that to is run when 10 the, feet. That is when the acting comes yeah. in and, and then yeah. you are yeah. truly People recognized. Don't even leave a sound stage and they're on like a treadmill. Yeah, and, probably. I mean, that's in some parking lot in Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's very sad. But not mm-hmm. Doom Asylum. Doom no. Asylum no. is filmed on location in yep. glorious New in Jersey, the Garden State. Studio mm-hmm. audience. Um, yes. Okay. So what there- asylum is this filmed at? Uh, I, the I, Doom I Asylum, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Holly. It's right in the title. <laughs> it was shut down, I think, in the 80s, I want to say. Mm-hmm. Like, it, or it maybe shut in down the, the 70s. year before. And then they closed the doors in the 80s, I think. Uh, but The Essex Mountain Sanitarium. Mm. Right. Okay. Opened in 1907 and closed in 1977. That's <laughs> cursed as fuck. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> 70 years, they had a good run. <laughs> It probably shouldn't be open. It's haunted. (laughs) Are we sure Michael Myers didn't escape from the sanitarium closed in 77? Well, I mean, (laughs) this weird lawyer. I mean, there was a Haddonfield, New Jersey. What Mm -hmm. was the one? We watched uh, Session 9, right? Which was filmed Mm -hmm. at that. um, I think that was like some huge, big, the Danvers asylum. Yeah. And then they tore it down after that. Like, yeah. you know, because all these places, I mean, I think they've been, you know, raised to the ground by now, but probably I mean, Well, yeah. we that, we live, we're recording very close I to know. a still standing but abandoned sanitarium. I know, but it's not one of the good old creepy ones. I mean, it's not, I it's feel creepy. like any abandoned sanitarium yeah. I had a friend who yeah. tried, who got yeah. in there one, and it's like, there's, it's not the old one, but it's, it's still creepy. Yeah. People have been in there's still some oh, good yeah. ones up, up and standing. Oh, yeah. Man, when yeah. I was in high school, I used to go explore abandoned buildings all the time, and looking back I'm like, I was fucking insane. Dude. Wait, yeah. you don't want to do that later? Hell we no. don't have any malignant. No. We don't have any malignant uh, hospitals by the on the cliffs by the oceans around here, unfortunately. Yeah. So we can't I, go explore those. The problem is, if you run into anybody in those, you're gonna freak the fuck out, right? Yep. You run oh, into yeah. any oh, other yeah. person that you yeah. don't know in an abandoned building. It's, did you ever it's not see? Gonna be good. There yeah. was a documentary on Cropsy, right? Which yeah. Was the Did you see this? That is a terrifying documentary. It's yeah. really good, but it is creepy. 
Because it's all about like these old yeah. this old asylum in New York that was on an point. island. Yeah, didn't they bring kids to this island? Yes. Yeah, that's a fucking watch creepy. the documentary. It's, it's interesting, but it's really dark. Which one is this? <sighs> it's called Cropsy. Cropsy which oh, that's the name the of it. Yeah. Inspiration okay. for the the killer from the burning. But yep. yeah. different story. But in the documentary, there's like our film crew is going into the old asylum. Yep. And then they hear something. It's like Whoa, mm-hmm. what? You know, is it Cropsy? What's happening? It's very tense. And then it turns out it's another film crew. Yep. Somebody else is there. <laughs> and they like, scared the shit out of each other. They scared the shit out of each other. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Okay. It's, 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 it's a really that's good documentary. By really film funny. crew, I mean a couple of other people. Sure. With, with right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, that's funny. Wait. <gasps> There's a prisoner here, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, it's another film crew." That's how crowded we've got mm-hmm. in the tr- true crime space. This is just <laughs> multiple camera crews running into each other. But that place actually had a lot of horrific things happen oh, yeah. there, so that's why it attracts so many people. Yeah. It has a horrible history and it's just a very depressing documentary to watch. Yeah, yeah. sounds I'm great. I'm in. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll I'll yeah, I'll, I'll watch it. Yeah, you should. You should check it. Out. It okay. was pretty good. Valentine's, um, well, yeah. then, uh, <laughs> the Chinese the, food and Cropsy. Love it. The act. The directors that did Cropsy also did a. Follow- Follow up documentary. I think it was called American Legends or something like that. And they took four different American urban legends and kind Ooh. of dissected them. And I like I think those filmmakers were great and the way they composed things was awesome. And I, I just I don't remember what all four of them were, but I remember one of them was about um the candy man killer, which was mm. this guy in Texas that poisoned his own son's Halloween candy mm. to collect life insurance. Mm. And so I don't know. I really like the way those those uh, documentarians put together things and do their research, and that was a really good documentary. We got a lot to watch this, yeah. ho- this Valentine's Day, Holly. No, we got a lot. Got well, a lot. since we're Full talking day. about death, Doom there, Asylum. Is, there are some deaths in Doom Asylum. I was going to say, we haven't covered a death yet. We probably should. 45 <laughs> minutes in. So I here think, we yeah. go. We're going to catalog, because it's basically a slasher plot. Yeah, right? basically. We're, we spent a lot got of time our scarred We had killer, our inciting incident. Right? Yep. And so now we're going to kill all the cast one by one. So yep. uh, what do we got? How do they die? And uh, how good was the vi- the makeup effects? Mm-hmm. Kristen Davis sits down for her death. Like. Yeah. Remember when we were saying room, like, if, you, if you walk into a room in an abandoned asylum and you see another person, how you'd freak out. Yeah, she doesn't. <laughs> no, she doesn't. She sees this like crazed leather face looking dude coming at her with a skull saw. She and thinks she can like, like psychology. I was going to say, yeah. I think she thinks she can figure out an answer to this before she dies. I thought right. she thought that she was experiencing the delusion. A delusion. Yes. She That's thought it was said, a delusion. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm still running. Yeah, 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 I'll run from a delusion. I yeah. don't care. So she it's backs into enough. a chair, sits down, and then waits an agonizing long time so <laughs> the guy like can take her across saw the face. To be saw- yeah, yeah, he's got yeah. the uh, some, a saw and a drill, and yeah. gets her like, right in the yeah. jaw. That or it gets a dummy right in the jaw, I should say. Yeah, mm-hmm. the dummy wasn't too bad. It reminded me of uh, Intruder. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. just know, reminded me a lot of Intruder with some of the kills and stuff. Mom, Mom gets his toes cut off with... Garden shears. Right. Oh, that yeah. was right. That was awful. So does he bleed Ooh. to death? We don't ever see him again. I think, right, it's, a, I so. think it's a heart attack. He, he might. Have, I mean, he, who wouldn't after, he passes but, out. He yeah. dies of shock. Yeah. Apparently, yeah, he might. I think but so. we get graphic close-ups of the guy cutting That's pretty off his. Yeah. Horrific. And we were talking when we were watching this. You know how much stubbing your toe hurts. Yeah. yeah. Imagine Aww. getting it. And like garden shears are usually kind of blunt, and you have to put a lot of pressure on them. Yeah. Oof, it's that not going to be quick. Yeah. No, and he was not quick with his cutting no it was no. very slow and uh, painful looking. and yep. followed by really bad one-liners i mean that's uh, what this guy does yeah he wants to be freddy krueger or something so mm-hmm. he's got these puns well because he's been watching horrible tv for the last 10 years <laughs> he has been watching yes what are you saying bad about the cinema of todd brown or todd, well, todd okay Slaughter? this particular day he's watching a very good movie marathon but you know what I mean? he's <laughs> yeah. watching shit the rest of the time just so say that can't be on all the time no well, our first victim is um, Rapunzel. Mm-hmm. Rapunzel, the uh, oh the, yeah, the, yeah. The, the French, she's French, she's yeah. French. She revolutionary gets, punk band member. She right. gets she decapitated. Her, no, she gets her face dunked in acid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then her head's hung from the ceiling. Yeah, because yeah, he pulls she's it French. back. She's French. Yep. Marie yeah. Antoinette, yep. maybe missing yep. all yeah. of her. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. not a bad sculpt there. And then, no, it was no, pretty good. Bad. It was pretty good. Yeah, the dunked in acid that looked like straight up oatmeal on her face, though that was not <laughs> great. I really thought I thought it was going to be like um, like Jason X. I thought he was freezing her face. And yeah, pull it and up. He was going to mm-hmm. break it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought we were going but for. Jason for got there. What first. would be the coroner purpose to that? I don't, I don't these, know, are all, these are but, corner things. I know, but it, well, it was the first thing that came to my mind. I'm like, oh my God, did they do it for him? I'm like, oh no, they didn't. Oh wait, was she the first one or was it Darrell? 
Darnell. Darnell. Whatever. Darnell. Oh, Darnell. Oh, he, oh, he got the. Darnell. He got the like. Um, the, the grip. With a what, what is that? No, that was the. Oh, that was Godiva. Okay. Um, forceps. What are they? Yeah, are they it's like a big no, clamp kind like of a, thing. Oh yeah. It's like a head clamp. Thing. Yeah, and he gets it in the temples. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then the drummer comes down looking for him. Okay, but before <laughs> Dennis gets a drill of the head. Oh yeah, Dennis. The that best was, effect probably that in the was movie. A great yeah. yeah. That was solid. Surprising. Yep. I'm still kind of wondering how they mm-hmm. pulled that off. I know, because it looks like the drill they put like what looks like a real drill up yeah. to the yeah. guy's forehead and then it starts spinning and you're like, Oh my god. Yeah. It's right into his skin. Yeah. But it turns out it's a fake uh, like, forehead. But I can it imagine looks it's going great. up. And, yeah, but it looked really good. And like he's still head. reacting. Yeah. And the drill's spinning and you gotta go like, well, is there like a Metal plate behind right, that something thing? to block yeah. it, it just like in it, case. It looks right. fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, blood spraying all over the place. Uh, like, Dennis is dead. For all we know, yeah. like they killed a man uh, during this is movie. Dead, yeah. yeah, maybe. Yeah. How the the drummer got strangled with the stethoscope? Yeah, yeah. but it, <laughs> which that I just can you I get lo- enough pressure because like stethoscopes are like rubber hose. Yeah. Rubber can you get enough? Like I mean, I suppose you could. I think you could. It's just gonna uh, keep flexing though. I just, in my experience, you can. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, I'll take your educated opinion. It's an educated guess, guess yes. Yeah. I just really liked the all the scenes leading up to her going downstairs to look for him, mm-hmm. where she's sitting there, she like, is falling in love with him. In yeah. love with the idea. But she was like, she's like, Donnell! Get me a drummer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they both have that same dream about running Slint. Yes, yeah. shared Sorry. dream. Mm-hmm. Except he's field. like all oh, you know, Shop like very badly. It's very his version mm-hmm. of it's very romantic, and her version is just like them grinding. It's horny, stuff. yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, who who got killed after her? That's two of the three band members. Um, Tina eventually. Well, Tina actually ends up uh, once we get our um, main characters all in the same room because uh, Duderman uh, kidnaps. Both well, he she he sedates uh, Mike slash mom, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then cuts his toes off and dies of shock. And he mm-hmm. ties up Kiki, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, ties her up. And he mm-hmm. still has mom's hand, mummified hand around mm-hmm. in his lair. Yeah. Actual mom, yeah, yeah. Uh, Judy. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Judy. <laughs> yeah, Judy, yeah, Judy, Judy. specific, yes. yeah, yes. There's yes. two moms in this, <laughs> right? 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 And then uh, uh, Tina comes in with a metal pipe. Pipe and starts wailing on him. Yeah. Yeah. And we're like, wow, Tina, who's been like just annoying as fucking shrill the whole goddamn mm-hmm. movie, mm-hmm. is actually going to save our heroes in this. But it doesn't quite work out that I way. I mean, she saves one of them. He had a fire axe and she beat oh, him with yeah. this metal pole. Mm-hmm. So she beats him up. Right. I'm forgetting what happens next. I can't remember so what happened to her. So she her? falls on that weird bottle machine. Yeah, that's oh, right. Oh, she no. gets turned She into falls a on the cube. conveyor belt and gets right. it's a compacted. Right. Turns into out a cube? it's a trash compact. It's not. Yeah. First of all, it's not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Colin, you might be more right. It's more. It feels like it was a, a bottles like I thought, slip on there. And I thought it was gonna be an urn or like a like a crematorium. A cre- it, yeah, it, yeah. Uh, like I was like, she's gonna get incinerated. It makes weird, sense. It's for, this weird conveyor belt. It looks like it would be in in some sort of like factory. Yeah, there's no reason for it to be in a sanitarium. Like they would never need to use this. But, but she, she comes a, out the other side as a meat cube yep, that's not with her hand sticking up. I mean, I haven't. I don't have a lot of experience with trash compactors, but I don't think that's what they look like. I mean, no. no I mean, I, I, the closest thing I had a job where we had a really big cardboard compactor, right? And it was full as terrifying. I didn't like well, using yeah. that thing. I was like, keep right. me away from that. But that was like the size of a semi trailer. It was fucking huge. Yeah. So yeah, it was not, and it was not like an exposed conveyor belt, right? <laughs> and also, yeah. I don't think it's uh, it's important to know that like she actually accidentally kills herself. Yeah, she just falls backwards. Well, her like her shorts catch on like the lever. Yeah. And that's what like pulls her backwards and activates the machine at the same time. It's yeah. very Looney Tunes like, whoops. Yeah. set up. Yeah. 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 And I'm pretty sure she could have gotten off. Yeah. She could have yeah. rolled to her <laughs> yeah. left. Yeah. Been fine. Yeah. But no, she's a meat cube now. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unexpected. Just Kiki mm-hmm. and the killer. Mm-hmm. And Kiki finds out like who the killer actually is. Well, the end of this movie does kind of uh <laughs> Because, I mean, it did feel like we were watching Slaughter High again. Mm-hmm. Slaughter High, we did an episode on it, but it's uh, a British slasher movie, and we're almost convinced that there are two British slasher movies. Mm-hmm. Only two. I think there we is. watched them both, and they're made by the same guy. And, and they felt very similar. Yeah. Don't yeah. open until Christmas yep. right. Slaughter High. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, it has it does have like this feeling of this movie. At the end, you have the killer chasing the beautiful girl. She's running across the field outside the asylum. Right, it looks yeah. it looks so similar. But that was my favorite part of um Slaughter High too. That part was terrifying. Like that jester mask in the daytime just yeah. running through the field, chasing yeah. her and she fell in a hole. Was that Caroline Monroe? Uh, uh yeah. Did she fall in the pit? Wait, yeah. She, no, so I think somebody else fell in the pit. I thought she died. was the final girl on that. She is, but I think somebody else falls in the pit oh. earlier. I think a dude does. Mm. Mm. Go back and listen to our <laughs> Slaughter High. Slaughter, yeah. Slaughter, Slaughter High. Mm. And that killer soundtrack. <laughs> Slaughter oh, High. God. <laughs> but how do we how do we vanquish the evil slasher in mm-hmm. this in this movie? I'd love to tell you. I forgot. Right, so he <laughs> so he falls down on a blanket and starts crying. At the picnic. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Right, yeah, yeah, there's a picnic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and then just, um, okay. apparently Kiki feels bad for him, and then turns around to go talk to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then he's got like the newspaper clipping of her mom. Mm-hmm. Right. She's like, "Oh, you really loved her, huh?" And then he's like, "Yeah, I did." And she's like, "But you were gonna send me to boarding school, motherfucker!" And then yeah, right. stabs him. Oh yeah, and stabs yeah. him with that mirror. Yep, yep. The the she weird. found earlier was like, "This was my mother." This was my mom. <laughs> yeah, it's been sitting on the highway in the grass for a decade, so, yeah. waiting for me to come get it. She my stabs him with it, right? Yeah. Because yeah. we've got symmetry off. in the script right there. <laughs> sure. It's set up in the beginning when we saw them, they were talking about sending the brat off to boarding right. school. And bam, she knew about it. Yep. Oh, man. And she killed him with the mirror, his, her yep. mom's mirror. Yep. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody uh, thought this out. Yeah. And then she walks away in her bikini and heels. Yeah. Oh, that's right. She does a lot of running around in heels. She in heels. Lots of lot running of in heels, heels in this yeah. movie. Poor yeah. thing. She Michaela just, said she ditched the heels at some point. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'd rather go barefoot. Because like, oh yeah, you're gonna die hard this shit. I would absolutely. I mean, yeah, ditch the I'd heels. rather for sure. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to balance or climb anything or you know like mm-hmm. uneven. You can't walk on grass sometimes in oh, heels. That's true. Like yes. yeah. So. I, I was gonna say you go to any prom, you'll mm-hmm. see a ton of girls carrying the shoes at the or end a of the pile night. of shoes. Or, sometimes yeah. everyone will just throw them in a pile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Always have an extra pair. Yeah. Always carry, always carry flats. Always carry flats. No, flats. flats. Always. Oh, okay. Always got to have flats. Good to, good so, that, yeah, that was the end of this movie. Then the end of the <laughs> other movie we were watching. Yes. <laughs> what the hell? Because I was like, oh, where's the credits? And we get the that, you know, like a uh, crane shot of her walking off. We're like, okay. But she keeps walking for a really long time. And before we're like, we all right, credits. Cred- we're shouting time. credits. Yeah. <laughs> like, it has to be. There's nothing else. And then we go into the other movie. One of the Which other movies. Which everyone we're watching at that point, I don't mm-hmm. know. Yeah, yeah. To see to their happy up. ending. Like I said, they get I big think the end. it's probably closer to ten minutes of of Todd I Slaughter movies. I think so. Movies it is. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> Sean's shaking. His there's head a, there's a nope, lot. I'll minutes. give you that. Well, go, I, Sean. You said you would go count it. Go count it. Tell <laughs> us. All right. What do you want to bet? I, if I'm going to go back and count this stuff, I will bet somebody something on this. All right. We'll, 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 we'll have to figure it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. And then we'll post that on our social media. Yeah, well, we'll give you an update next week. Yeah, we'll do a poll and ask the people what they think. How <laughs> long <laughs> they think? All right, what is it? Uh, up or uh, above or below or above ten or minutes? Below f- well, you can do five for all five. I care. I'm going to win. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, I mean, <laughs> I guess this, that, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Right? We get credits um, for the black and white movie, and then we get well, we see like an end scene, and then it says the end, and the then we get end. credits. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then we get the actual credits. They literally movie. stole someone else's end credits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like so, they had a better ending than we did. Well, Patty Mullen as the final girl, and I guess the star of this movie, even though I don't think she was the top build, no, um, doesn't say much the whole way through it. She has a very thick Bronx accent. It's it Bronx? He- heavy. Heavy, yes. Yeah. Maybe that's why she, they didn't have, I mean, the French girl is like unintelligible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was yeah. bad. Yeah, There's yeah. a whole lot of questions there. Mm-hmm. But, okay, uh, so we're saying it's a in- intentional comedy, though. I yeah. would say, yeah, I would say, yeah, but I think there are a lot of moments that are unintentionally funny, too. I really, I think the key, I really want to know the motivation behind the jock character. Like, I want to know why his indecisiveness was a, char- was a character choice, was it in the quote-unquote script? Well, I think that was a I joke. It's in the script, yeah. But yeah. that's what I want to know. I don't know if it was. I know that. I think that was one of the I know few doing intentional on, jokes. Okay, so the, you're right. They are doing it on purpose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Why because that's, that's the only funny. thing. That, that's the only defining yeah, character. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying the jokes land. I'm just saying it was supposed to be funny. Okay. Mm-hmm. They're trying for humor. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very odd toned movie. Mm-hmm. 
Well, I guess for, we we maybe weren't aware that it was a comedy going into it, and then after a while, you're like, "What in the fuck is going on?" <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then you're like, "Okay, it's a comedy. Okay, mm-hmm, you're trying mm-hmm. to be funny. Mm-hmm. You're not necessarily oh, funny. I don't know, <laughs> but you're trying to be funny. Yeah. Okay." All right, well, I guess we will go around the table and tell you if we would recommend that you watch Doom Asylum. But first of all, we're going to answer some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman. His name's Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. He looks like he's from the Doom Asylum. Oh, he definitely did a yeah, turn there. He's, yeah. yeah, I was going to say, yeah. He, he's a, he was an intern for he, a while, I think. Two tours he did of that place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you thought he was, he was a patient. I assumed he had like worked his way up and was like <laughs> helping out the coroners. I know? think he's the I one think... guy who is a patient, but then you trust him enough, he can drive the van at some point. Oh, I that think, doesn't work out well. I think that's yeah. the guy. He's just like, oh, he won't run away or steal things or... <laughs> Helping the other patients escape or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, get away, slowly driver. digging yeah. a tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to remind you how you can get a hold of us and participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show about tonight's movie Doom Asylum. <laughs> Karate Warrior 2 writes in and says, you guys lured me in for the second week in a row with hot 80s hair, but it was a horror comedy bait and switch. The worst genre of film ever created this movie and others like Saturday the 14th can go burn in the fires of film hell. I've never seen Saturday the Fourth. Oh, you don't want I know that's the thing. I don't want to. Yeah. I'm also well, but, but I'm also Okay, like, but that's a parody movie. That's different. Yeah, that's I was like true. horror comedy. I love horror yeah, comedy. Yeah, but horror one's, comedy parodies, those that one's are not terrible. Really, that one's not a parody. Like it's the not title a title sounds like it's know, a parody. But it isn't. Uh, yeah. uh, parody of that is uh, student bodies. That's the mm-hmm. Friday the thirteenth par- or um, Halloween. Because like I like I understand if you don't like the scary movies, because I don't like those. Those are like yeah. parodies yeah, of horror comedy. Yeah. Like I'm kinda glad Dom didn't like this movie. I feel like this is uh, any movie that Dom doesn't like is revenge for every bullshit thing he's put us through on this show. So, <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I'm glad oh, you I didn't, didn't know you like were starting beef with Dom. Yeah, the beef is back on Dom. <laughs> <laughs> it's been years. Well, Adam Kaler says, "What's the appeal for young people to drive out to a crusty old hospital just to sunbathe in the shade?" <laughs> Do they have question. a coupon for broken glass? Sure, it had a cornucopia of the best <laughs> rock band and auto parts graffiti in the haunted <laughs> asylum community, but it hardly seems the best vacation spot. And he says, don't call me mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad someone has seen this. It's, right? Yeah, right? <laughs> Oh, Michael Whitaker says Frankenhooker returns. Yes, I might. It might be tough to get a third appearance from her. It looks like she's only done two movies. <laughs> and then he says, "I'm watching it now." And as a former North Jersey resident, all I can say is, "I'm sorry." I should probably <laughs> also apologize as a fan of punk rock. Uh-huh. But yeah, yeah but I need not, an apology from yeah. the state of Jersey. That was, that that was not punk rock. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> No. What that why, why were we never given the movie Frankenhooker Returns? Right. Frankenhooker yeah. Returns. Yeah. Huh? Would have been a great it's, sequel. It's, it's not too late. Yeah. Bright you can always reassemble her, right? I know. Yeah, just keep building her. Yeah. She's, she's literally a Frankenhooker. Yeah. yeah. Like, let's do it. Last week, we watched a movie called Space Truckers. Uh, mm. About that one, DJ Dogman Fish writes in and said, What is the worst career decision for Dennis Hopper? This or Super Mario Brothers? This. <laughs> I think Super <laughs> Mario Brothers. Oh, I'd rather watch Super Mario Brothers. I'd rather you had a nostalgic too. attachment to that movie, yeah. which we established on that episode. I'd rather watch, I would not. I'd rather watch that, too, and it's more memorable. <laughs> I like how Michaela's like, you don't get to fucking talk, all right? <laughs> we, we established why you like that movie. Sean, you, don't get to you were giggling piece. like a child when we watched that movie. <laughs> <laughs> and you were the only one. Uh, Colin I, and I have adult clarity on that movie that you guys don't have. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying uh, that Super Mario Brothers was yeah, the worst. I think so too. Uh, I'm wondering what the I'm proportions the proportions are uh, for him. Is he more dog, man, fish, or DJ? I'm curious. <laughs> like, what are is it? What's your ratio? Quarters? Yeah. What are the what are your ratio? What's your ratio? What are your pronouns? Well, it <laughs> be, like, yeah, quarters, right? There's four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm, I'm just wondering: is there one more than? Do you identify more as a DJ than a fish? I'm curious. Yeah. Is there one more predominant? Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, okay. Anthony Levia says space truckers. Is that the poor man's alien? 
a very, a very poor man, yeah. a, very, a bums, <laughs> like, the that's, bums that's, alien. That's generous. It yeah. had to be like where the inspiration came from, right? Well, I mean, alien feels like truckers in space. I mean, basically, and heavy metal yeah. magazine. It, I mean, alien is truckers in space, basically. Yes. Uh, about hard ticket to Hawaii, mouth breather says <laughs> this kind of movie makes you say. I guess anyone can make a movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We yeah. do say that a lot. Yeah. Watching That's movies. That's what we specialize here. in, I feel like. Yeah. yeah, wait until you see tonight's movie. Um, <laughs> and then, okay, so to set this up on our social media, we were describing uh, one of the scenes in uh, Hard Ticket to Hawaii as follows <laughs> In one of the best scenes in motion picture history, this handstanding skateboarder. Later uses a blow up doll to camouflage a rifle before being yes. blown up with a rocket launcher in Hard Ticket to Hawaii. Yes. And Neil Gums said, Boy, when you read that out loud, it sounds kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yes, it when does. You, when you try to witness it with your own eyes, it seems even crazier. <laughs> yeah. uh, Good points all around. Yeah. <laughs> Travis Legler says, In some crazy world, uh, this scene has an inter. Oh, he was talking about a different scene from the movie that we posted. And he said, uh, This scene has an intersection with Ernie Reyes Jr., Rob Schneider, and Tone Loke hmm. throwing dynamite from a Jeep <laughs> and surf ninjas. I think it was the shot of like <laughs> everybody Reyes on the Jeep. Jr. Yeah. With yeah. the rocket yeah. launcher from yep. Hard Ticket to Hawaii. Oh, I love Surf Ninja. And Bryce <laughs> Kruckerberg says, I love Ooh. this movie. Yeah. I love your well, last yeah. name. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, thank you again, all of you, for writing in. We greatly appreciate yes, we it. Do. Every week. We do thank appreciate you for it. Following along. My favorite part. Thank you for wa watching along with us <laughs> tonight. <laughs> Colin. Oh, boy. What did you think about tonight's movie? What is it? Doom Asylum. <laughs> Doom Asylum. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it feels like um, if I tried, if I, okay, so it's like, <laughs> it, you know, you're, somebody finds an abandoned asylum off in the woods somewhere, and they're like, man, we got to make a movie Yeah, you it do. goes here. Yeah. And they were yeah. like, okay, but we got to shoot it like next week, and you're going to have like a week <laughs> to shoot it. Right. Although, again, I say it feels like this movie was shot in three days, but uh, we got a week, you got $90,000, write me a script. I mean, I aspire to more, but this is probably what a person could come up with in a couple of days, right? Mm -hmm. Being like, uh, I, there's always, I mean, and you know, I, I feel like I got to give everyone at this table more credit than that, Colin. <laughs> well, thank you, thank yeah. you. Uh, yeah, it's um, we've done better. We had longer to plan for it. I don't, <laughs> care. I don't care. We, we don't planned. Know. We planned two seasons of Dexter over dinner. That's true. That's we true. could do this. <laughs> Okay, all right. So you're saying basically anyone could do better than this if they really wanted to make a movie. I think so. It's like, I'd, oh, I'd say, yeah. I'd say many people could do better. I think so. When I, uh, but in 30 years, are we going to get a 4K restoration of it? Who knows? Well, this was, uh, I think, you know, I had a, you know, like I said, a, a horrific uh, a, awareness and awakening during the movie because even though, so this is what uh, my brain does when I watch a movie. And I hate it so much. I delete the files. Sure. What I remember is my reaction to watching it. I'm like, oh, I remember hating this movie. And so then I'm watching it going like, okay, all right. But now you're watching it and it's under different circumstances. <laughs> you're going to give it a different shot. And by the end of it, you're like, nope, I remember why. I hated this movie. It's just uh, you hated it. Wow, that's very strong. I yeah. know, I know. I had such. A I feel like we've watched so many movies like this. It's weird to me that this is the one that gets your hate. But that's because I, I think I, you only I have place for one. I, I, I'm narrowing it down. Like I do like unintentional comedy, but when it's intentional and failing, which I think this is failing at, oh. at being funny. Oh yes, <laughs> mm -hmm. I think that irritates me more. Like yeah. I like and somehow am like. In the well, corner you're like, allergic to humor. We've established that's right. this. Yeah, so. yeah. But that's exactly it. I think uh, if like if the Andy Sidaris movies, it's like, yeah, they're kind of. You know. Colin doesn't like purpose in comedy. He's just like, if it's funny, it's funny. Yeah. Well, that's I like if because you, you're trying to be funny and you're landing the joke. Yeah. The, congratulations. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is like, I don't know. Just uh, yeah, I had a strong reaction <laughs> to it, but I did not like this movie. Although. On this watch, I guess the things that I did appreciate, I did kind of like um, the actress was Ruth Collins. I thought it came off like pretty, you know, like I know you're saying. Tina? Like, you know, she had a big personality. I suppose that's yes. why it's like she stood out. Um, Forcefully. And, she could not not stand and out. And some of the gore effects were 
better than I would have originally given it credit for. <laughs> mm-hmm. And um, um, oh, sorry, what's uh, the Frankenhooker? Patty Mullen. Patty Mullen looks very good walking around in her red. Uh, I like that. the red bikini denim button down yeah, shirt yeah, look yeah. on her. Then they do yeah. that. I mean, yeah. So, I mean, for those three things, <laughs> you, you can watch the movie. I'm going to say you can skip it because I can in good conscience uh, recommend it to you. Holly, mm-hmm. what'd you think? You know, um, uh, as much as we have differing opinions on comedy, I think you are onto something. There is something with unintentional humor. There's something with intentional and failing humor. It is very irritating when it's intentional but failing humor. I, I have to agree with you there. And, and, it, and it's it, very hard in a movie that is doing the unintentionally funny shit while also trying right. to do the bad it's, it's really, intentionally funny shit. It, it really takes away. Like when there's unintentional funny moments, those are overshadowed by the failing humor. And it, it's it's very irritating to watch. Um, there's a huge like what the fuck factor when watching this movie. Most of the time, I didn't really understand what was happening or the motive. And that can be a driving force when being entertained by this kind of movie. Um, so there were moments of that, that it's, it's enjoyable to take that in, but overall, this it, it's a hard, it's a hard 75 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 75. Minutes. It is. Um, <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a great review. It's a hard seventy five minutes. minutes. I don't know if we've ever watched uh, a movie that cuts to other movies so much, <laughs> which was new and random and f- kind of fun. But I don't know. Uh, th- this this is a weird ass movie. I I didn't really enjoy it enough to recommend it. Again, there's some enjoyable things. The what the fuck factor can be entertaining. I agree with you, Colin, that some of the effects are are actually surprisingly good you know we talked about the drill bit in the forehead was impressive we were all like audibly impressed by that effect um so there's some good stuff here that that gets you through it but it's really not enough Uh, i i I didn't like this movie it's it's not very it doesn't give you what you're what you want from it um it's pretty ridiculous pretty surprising but i'm gonna have to pass on Doom, uh, Doom Asylum? Doom Asylum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, what did you think? Uh, um, I think the problem with this movie is that, um, I don't know, I think we're all finding we have hard things to say about it because it's, it feels like you go right down the middle of this movie. It's like, I don't care either way. Like, you can watch it, sure. You can also not watch it, sure. Yeah. I don't really care if you, like, I, I can can't. Can we call you mom? Don't know. <laughs> 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 I mean, but it kind of like, I am... Yes, I will be that character for this review. You could watch it, but maybe not. That is so, the review for this so movie. It is that you character. You do identify with him. Maybe I'm recommending this movie. No, I don't think I... Uh. Wow. Okay. Oh, God. I can't recommend this movie. Okay. Uh, no, no. Um, because it... Uh, Ultimately, like, uh, I have no strong feelings for this movie one way or another. So it's like a tie. When it comes down to the tie, I, I would say yeah. it, it goes to not watching it. Um, there's some there's some stuff in this movie. Um, I think that's the best thing I can say yeah. about it uh, wh- based on what we said. Um, yeah, I have no strong feelings about this movie. So, But I'm going to say you don't need to watch it. You can watch Slaughter High. I think you got, you know, you get more out of that. Um. Yeah, don't. Yeah, you don't need to watch this movie. That's not a hard. You don't need to watch this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Michaela, <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of predetermined feelings and personal baggage being hoisted on this movie that is not fair to this movie right now. I think oh. Colin, you brought your previous oh, yeah, experience, yeah, yeah, yeah. and and I think that this is the type of movie. That why this podcast exists <laughs> and i think to hold it to a standard that isn't applied to other movies of its same 
level of quality. We have a roving standard here. Yeah. <laughs> because like we will I, I love that we will never run out of these types of movies. That's I love that true. we will never we can always plumb the depths of these forgotten slashers with people that would go on to become hugely famous. I love this aspect of horror movies. I love that you can always find this. I didn't know Kristen Davis was ever even in a horror movie right? until this week. I love that <laughs> I can go through life and continue to learn these things and watch these new movies and have these new experiences. I'm shocked none of you recommended it because I feel like on a different day when everyone's in a different mood you all would i feel like i said i feel like a lot of personal things are being hoisted onto this movie that aren't fair to it but i'll be on the right side of history with this one and recommend it and in two years you guys will be like you know doom the Town was pretty fine it had some good effects <laughs> so i'm marking the calendar date now i'm right, recommending doom you, asylum <laughs> mark it down because you know it'll be like the wraith i recommended the race uh, wraith everybody else passed on it it's they happened before. It yeah exactly so you know sean let me know when you buy that arrow blu-ray and watch all the bonus features for this movie because i know you will <laughs> so i'm gonna recommend doom asylum because i feel like this is like why this podcast exists is for low budget slashers with soon to be famous people and we have standards michaela do we? <laughs> Says the man that brought society nothing but trouble and Howard the Duck in the same year. I mean, we could go. We could. Run you don't down. have standards. Could, I might have run. standards, but you don't have standards. Oh, let's run down your movies here for a second. Standards. <laughs> I stand by my. It's choices. for another time. <laughs> I would recommend Doom Asylum. I think that like. It, this is a treasured piece of American history. I love cringe, and I love when things don't go the way people intended in movies, and I love that they have to live with that being forever the version that exists. You know? Like, I think that's my fascination with George Lucas, is that he has to go through life knowing these versions of the movies he made exist that he doesn't approve of. I love that you can make choices and think it's right in the time, but it doesn't age well, or it doesn't hit the way you want it. And, but it's out there! It's out! You know? And I... I I think people should see this. I think that it's, I mean, it's 75 minutes. There's Game of Thrones episodes longer than this. You know, you it's think not Christian even Davis that much had of a to time sign commitment. off on this. Like, someone had to come to her and be like, hey, uh, Doom Asylum's being released Is on she Blu ray. On the, uh, new Arrow, like, artwork? Probably uh, Sh not. Sean will let us know when he buys it and watches the special features. So. There's so much, so much judgment going on right now. You, there's been movies you've passed on and then bought, yeah. like The Wraith. So, yeah, I, I would recommend Doom Asylum. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, let history record the day. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So next week we're going to watch. I get a, a movie. tattoo to my ass if I ever buy this movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, what are we watching next week, Colin? Oh shit! What are we watching next week? Oh, that's right. All right. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, you. It's you. All right. So <clears throat> prior to uh, our listener choice month, uh, mm. I think we were hitting like a stride there of train set horror movies. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. That we train did. month we continues. Should, we should leave it behind in the, in 2021. He, he says out loud I'm, before he picks a train I'm movie. picking a train movie. We're going to go on the Horror Express with uh, Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee. Ooh, okay. Savalas next week. So there you go. Horror, horror Express. Express. All okay. Right. All right. Don't know anything about this. <laughs> no. I don't know it. I don't know it. All right. Better, li better live up to that title. Uh, <laughs> we hope so. Okay. And we hope that you'll join us for that. And until then, listener, thank you. And uh, the basement is going dark. <laughs>